Welcome to the lesson 6 of Open Saba. Inherence is a practical way to reuse code in the object-oriented world. Using inherence with JPA and Open Saba is as easy as using it in plain Java. We are going to use inherence to remove repeated and boring code like the UUID definition. We will do it using JPA Mapped Superclass. We can see here that author, category and invoice have the same common code that is the OID field definition. It's called is just the same for all those classes. You know that copy-paste is a mortal sin and we have to look for a solution to remove this code repetition and avoid going to hell. JPA allow us to exploit the concept of inherence. One of them is to inherit from a mapped superclass. A mapped superclass is a Java class with JPA mapping annotations but is not an entity itself. His only goal is to be used as a separate class for an entity. Let's use it and you will see its utility. First, we need to move this common piece of code to a new class. Marker has a separate class. So, create a new class and name it identifiable. Add the annotations and we will add here mapped superclass annotation. We need to declare here OID. and all the annotations. And that's it, we have finished the code. Now we need to modify your code in this way. First go to author, category or invoice entity and add this simple line here. And that's it, we can say here. And now we are saying that invoice will inherit from identifiable superclass all their properties. So we don't need any more this code here. We can delete it. And we need to add these same modifications to the other entities. So in category. We delete here and now we auto. And we have finished here doing all the modifications. Now we need to test our applications to be sure that all is working fine. Simple start your application, wait for deploy, take the link, paste it in your browser
and we can see here author, category, customers, all modules are working with information and all the functionalities are working too. So we can say then that um, we have improved and reused some code using Mapped Supergrass. We have created our own identifiable class to see the advantage of using Mapped Superclasses. However, OpenSaba provides us with a ready to use identifiable class that you can find in the or point OpenSaba point model package. So, in your next project, you don't need to write the identifiable class again. Just use the one included in OpenSaba. In this lesson, you have learned that the Mapped Super class is a regular class with JPA mapping annotations that you can use as a base class for your entities. Moreover, you have learned how to use Mapped Super class to simplify your code. Until next time.